All right, guys, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do a set review. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite sets that I own. And the, the style, the look, the 1983 Tops baseball set. Um, it kind of took the took the look of the 1963 tops set design. So if you want to take a peek at those, it's kind of an uh, offshoot of that. Um, <clears throat> it says 792 cards. This is my set. Just so you can kind of check it out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty damn clean set. Pretty nice. There you go. I bought this set off eBay, and it came with um, came with three slabbed cards. It came with the Tony Gwynn <clears throat> PSA eight. It came with the Boggs PSA eight and the Sandberg PSA eight. <clears throat> The Henderson was in there, and I purchased the PSA 9 Henderson. Just I wanted it slabbed. And of course, how cool is that? You got an Otani 2018, and it it's the look of the 83. So that's his rookie card with the look of the 83. Very cool card. Ah, the set was loaded with stars and Hall of Famers. <clears throat> it, came, it contained three Hall of Fame rookie cards. Hall of Famer rookie cards. You got Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Rest in peace, bud. Nice card. This is such a this is such a clean set. Yeah. We have Wade Boggs, another Hall of Famer. Rookie card. Beautiful card. And of course, like I said, Ryan Sandberg for you Cubby fans, which I know there's a lot of. Another clean card. Super cool set. I paid $147 for the set, complete set, and then the three slab cards, which I thought was a fantastic deal. And of course, this was one of the last sets before, uh, or produced before the junk wax era began. Super cool card, Willie McGee. Just kind of pulled a few out that I liked. That's his rookie card. Another nice one. Cal Ripken. This is his second year card. And of course, uh, in 83... They won the World Series against the Philadelphia Phillies. They beat them 4-1, to one, and that was uh, Baltimore's third title. They, they called it the I-95 Series. And then you had, of course, Nolan Ryan. It's another, just, just, just such a clean-looking set. Nolan Ryan on April 27th. Back in uh, 83, he became the strikeout king. He passed Walter Johnson for 3,509 strikeouts. It's a pretty cool little stat. And of course, I got to have my Dodgers in there. Sorry. Fernando. We got Pedro Guerrero. Just beautiful. Beautiful cards. And of course, my my uh, one of my favorites, Ricky Henderson. He uh, stole 130 bases in '82, and uh, the all-time record. I don't know if you guys know this was by Hugh Nickel. In a, he had 138 stolen bases in 1887. It's going back, right? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Henderson is the all-time 
stolen vase leader uh, 1406 <clears throat> another one Tim Raines another stud when it came to stealing bases and uh, here's another uh, interesting in April 26 1983 John Elway was the first pick by the Baltimore Colts as a Raider fan, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, LA, there was a minute and a half left. It was over. No matter what, against the Raiders, they were going to win. I'll give him some respect. A couple more fun facts. In 83, the video game Mario Brothers was first released as a Nintendo arcade game in Japan. Think of how many times you played, well, me coming up on 50. I played that game just a few times. Just a few. Uh, in 83, the first mobile phone. Phones were introduced to the public by the Motorola company. Which, God, I just, I don't, I don't, 83, it just seems like a lifetime ago. Felt like cell phones aren't that old. It just makes me feel old. <sighs> and and the, co the coolest kind of little... I know we're veering off from baseball. I'm just giving you some fun facts. Um, in 83, the final episode of MASH aired. And a record 125 people... 125 million people watched that on TV in 83. 125 million. That's nuts. I pulled out a couple of my... Uh, Sports Illustrated, and I thought this was pretty cool. This was this was an '83, but you know '87. What a just what a classic. Sports Illustrated. That's my boy. That's my boy. Blue. My boy Blue. All right, and then another fun one. How about this? 1988. <laughs> what do you say there? He gets 30 days for shoving an ump. It's all good. Okay. And how about a couple of uh, mu some music that's been released. David Bowie, Let's Dance in 83. Billy Joel, An Innocent Man. Def Leppard, Pyromania. That was right up my alley. How about Metallica, Kill 'em All? How about Ozzy, Bark at the Moon, Motley Crue, Shout at the Devil, Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind. All in 83. While all this fun stuff was going on. Those were good times back then. So, I am going to make a bet. We are unfortunately 2-1. and 2-1. and one. We lost our last bet. Or I lost my last bet. Uh, didn't go over. It was five to two. Got robbed by uh, Robert Chapman home run. It's okay. Can't win them all. Anyways, um, April twenty sixth. I'm going to be. I like Philadelphia money line versus Seattle. Philly at home. I should say. And uh, they're like minus one fifty. I just don't think they're gonna lose to Seattle. They'll come back. They'll bounce back. They just lost five to three today on the uh, to Seattle. And guys, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you like this kind of fun um, reviewing sets. And uh, I think I might do this once a week just to throw it in there, give you some fun stuff to to look at. I've got several sets in my collection, so I thought this was a great first set review. Such a classic. And it's beautiful. Look at them. Look at these cards. And then of course, then you have the Shohei, the redo, 2018. Rookie, PSA 9. So cool. All right, guys. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. Peace out.